ratio of all those, you're going to end up in some symptoms of uh, deficiency mm -hmm. somewhere, and you're going to be craving craving mass amounts of things that you may not need. Yeah, that's yeah. right. How did you learn about this way of eating? Well, um, I've been studying nutrition for about 11 years, mm -hmm. and about just under seven years ago, I met Doug Graham, mm -hmm. founder of the 81010 Diet, and uh, went raw overnight from there. Wow. And just he followed his teachings. Cool guy. He's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I when I met him, I was completely blown away on wow. every level. And, and you and I were saying to each other yesterday, were you were telling me that he was kind of, you know, the god of raw food, kind of pioneered. He was a, a huge things, pioneer in raw foods. I yeah. mean, there's definitely at least a handful that have been around for decades. Mm -hmm. You know, and Doug, Doug has been uh, one of the you know biggest keynote speakers of any raw food mm -hmm. guru or whatever you want to call them yeah. teacher mm -hmm. in the past couple decades. You know, and, you know, world renowned for sure. And some people love him, some people don't like him. Yeah. You know, but, mm. um. And when, what brought you to this lifestyle? Well, anyway, yeah. Um, you know, really specifically skateboarding, to be honest. Oh. I've been a lifelong athlete. Mm -hmm. I always was seeking to better my skateboarding and feel faster and just feel more energetic and lighter. So I went from standard American, really drunk, drunk all the time, junk wow. foods, mm -hmm. towards vegetarian and whole foods and then to vegan and then to mm -hmm. raw vegan. Mm -hmm. Just every single step seemed many, many benefits, but yeah. jumping from whole foods vegan to raw vegan is crazy. Wow. Now, uh, and that was how many years ago? Um, just under seven. Wow. Like six and three. It'll be seven in a month or two. Yeah. Yeah. And um, tell me a little bit more about your website. And the What's Raw Advantage. Yeah. Well, uh, the Raw Advantage, it has, you know, a lot of fun kind of day in the life type vlogs just mm -hmm. kind of showing that this lifestyle isn't hard it's not boring it's you know lots of fun you can do it anywhere and everywhere yeah. you know showcasing lots of recipes i have a recipe book mm -hmm. on there that's all up by donation oh, wow. um, i also am a yoga teacher mm -hmm. uh, i do a bit of reflexology i offer all those services by donation wow. um, mm -hmm. do a lot of consultations too so i do you know skype or iChat or mm -hmm. you know just email consultations as well as by phone and one-on-one. -on -one. Um, the last two years I've been doing living consultations so mm -hmm. I just live full-time with anyone from a week to about a month. Oh, wow. and I'll do that anywhere in the world as well and uh, otherwise my website really just has you know interesting stories and mm -hmm. facts and you know, there's a facts page and a skateboarding page with my skateboard videos mm -hmm. and God, it's, it's all me, you know, it's just wow. anything that I have, I try and flow out through my website so as many people can benefit from what I've benefited from as mm -hmm. possible. Yeah. Yeah. Free ebook there too, actually, it's a free, uh, a free simple ebook just on 10 simple ways to improve your health and our golf. So if anyone signs up to your website, they'll get the free Yeah, cool. for sure. Mm. It's fun, because I mean, there's so many aspects of health, mm -hmm. food's only one of them. Yeah. You know, the raw advantage is definitely focused on food mm -hmm. and fitness, mm -hmm. but it encompasses all the other aspects of health, too. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know, it's, it's a holistic approach. Yes. I mean, I, I took my original schooling is in holistic nutrition, which was yeah. seven yeah, years ago. Have studied that in the yeah, I'm a, I'm a registered holistic nutritionist wow. as well. So I, I'm, you know, certified to, mm -hmm. to consult people in a holistic approach. And, my focus has been raw food and nutrition, mm -hmm. but it's, those are only two pillars of my practice. Yeah. Wow. And what um, what are some of the success stories you've had with uh, helping people? Well, like, I've, I've had a lot of awesome ones. Some of the most notable ones would be um, Crohn's and mm -hmm. ir irritable bowel mm -hmm. and uh, candida, um, depression. Um, those, you know, those are the ones that definitely stand out the wow. most. and they're quite serious things yeah. for people to suffer with. It's a lot oh. of like emotional pain and suffering when you have things like that. For sure. Um, I wanted to bring up again about the candida thing. Yeah. Because people sure. that have candida think they can't eat fruit. Yeah, for sure. Um, whereas you were explaining to me the other day, that's not true. Yeah. Um, yeah, Talk no, for sure, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, I had uh, chronic candida systematic before wow. I went raw, mm -hmm. and. 
actually in the year before I went raw, I was, you know, on a number of different candida cleanses mm -hmm. and I was reading all I could. Yeah. Like I said, I've been studying nutrition and that stuff for 11 years and mm -hmm. I had a few different viewpoints. I tried, ten, uh, it's supposed to be a 14 day candida cleanse, yeah. taking some capsules and eating a very low fat or no fat, no fruit diet, yeah. which was horrible. It was the worst experience of my life. It doesn't make you feel good, you know, and it was waging a war within my body. And, yeah. you know, I ended up crashing hard off that and ended it up in the worst rest. place ever. Wow. Yeah, I, a really horrible experience. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I met Doug, I got a different perspective. You know, mm -hmm. I found a lot of the health circles, raw or not, yeah. really use the same approach that medicine takes. It's like, you know, you have this condition, we have to battle it, or we have to deal with the symptoms and get rid of it. Yeah. You know, it's like a war, waging a war yeah. within the body. Mm -hmm. Whereas, you know, the approach that Doug has taught me is more to just remove the causes of the symptoms yeah. and let your body come to its natural symbiosis. Yeah, which makes so, so much sense when you think about it. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Remove, remove the causes, you know. Don't start by battling the causes. You know, you, you maybe can do both at once if you want, mm -hmm. but the surest approach is to remove. Yeah. So looking at what candida is instead of just seeing it as an enemy, because yeah. if you read a lot of you know a lot of books or if you look at a lot of candida programs, like, kill this, you kill, kill it. it. Yes, kill it. it's like yeah. candida is the enemy. You know, it's like a really bad thing. Mm -hmm. But if you step back and look at candida, it has a really important function in our body. If we didn't have it, we'd be dead. We'd be dead. Really? It's a yeah. secondary mechanism to control blood sugar, mm -hmm. and you know if we didn't have that, our blood sugar could just go through the roof when our other mechanisms fail. Yeah. You know, so. We always have candida in our body. It's not something we need to kill. Mm -hmm. It's just something that we need to bring back into um, the symbiosis yeah. and its own natural balance. Mm -hmm. When you look at what what causes candida to thrive is sugar being held in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. So I mean, the main reasons for sugar being held in the bloodstream are either insulin insufficiency yeah. or the inability for insulin to properly work. Mm -hmm. If insulin isn't working properly, either we're looking at a kin. Uh, uh, poor insulin function or otherwise an increased level of fat in the bloodstream. So I mean most people either on a raw diet or on a standard American diet they're eating up to four, four to six times the amount of fat in their diet than is shown to be the most health, healthful in mm -hmm. sports science as well as in the biggest studies known for nutrition. Um, so you know if we're, we're constantly eating high levels of fat in our diet sugar gets held up in the bloodstream, candida proliferates and it just keeps on going, it keeps on going. Yeah. You know, so after having, you know, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, long-term candida mm -hmm. situation in my body, and then learning from Doug, he, his, you know, his approach is simply to cut out all fats yeah. and yep. instead eat as much fruit as you want and as much vegetables as you want without feeling the need for either, just following your intuition, mm -hmm. whichever feels best for you in the moment, meal by meal. Mm -hmm that your candida levels naturally go back into symbiosis. Yeah. And it's such an easy way to eat as well because, you know, if you are craving a little bit of sugar, then you can have it. Yeah. Um, but mm. I know I've tried a whole bunch of things to kill candida to kill it. Yeah, And cool. um, never really made me feel much better, but ever since I've been here, I haven't had any of the feelings in the stomach or just, yeah, it feels like it's the right thing for my body. So, it's really amazing, mm. you know, I've, I've met people and helped people who have had candida for years. Mm. They've tried every single thing. Wow. I've even, I've heard, heard of people feeling like, I've, I've had candida all my life. Yeah. It's like something I'm battling and battling. And within a few days to the most a month on a simple low wow. fat diet, completely gone, like mm -hmm. 100%. Some people have gone within two and or three with, days. And that's with no supplements. Oh, no, yeah, well. zero. I, I've, yeah. I haven't taken a supplement in over seven years. Wow. And wow, my blood work works amazing. out perfect. Yeah, you, know? but you were saying, did you have them done not that long ago? Yeah, I yeah, um, and the doctor was. Um, well, I, I've had my blood work the last three years in a row to appease my mom because that was after four years of rush. She's like, can you uh, get some blood she work? Was worried. Yeah, yeah, she was worried. I was feeling great. I had no reason to worry, but mm -hmm. I went and I was curious to check it out. You yeah. know, and the first year it was with my family doctor, and she was like, everything's great. Mm -hmm. I didn't really go past that. Yeah. The second year, though, um, I'd been doing my video blog, and I was like, I, I need to get this documented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I actually had a new family doctor, and he checked out my entire blood work, and he was blown away, because initially he was really skeptical. Like, I went in there for my blood work, told him the diet I was on, mm -hmm. and he's like, I need to give you protein pills, I need <laughs> to give you calcium, you know, B12, all the vitamin B. He thought mm -hmm. I'd have a whole list of supplements. Mm -hmm. And after the blood work, he was, the first thing he said to me, he was like, you know what? 
you've really influenced somebody here. And I'm like, and I'm who? Sure. It's a PhD right. doctor. Yeah, yeah, he's like, it's like you influenced me. He's like, I, I can't believe it. I'm looking at your blood work, and this is the best I've ever seen in my life. Like, wow. It's like, he would have seen thousands of people. Yeah, he's wow. seen so many people. That's and he's amazing. like, your cholesterol is that of a baby. It's mm -hmm. like perfect, you know, mm -hmm. and like your protein levels all perfect, mm -hmm. like calcium, everything in proper ranges. And That's amazing. And when, you know, when people really think about it, you know, the way that you're eating is common sense. Because it really is. back in, you know, 200, 300 years ago or whatever, there were no super foods, mm -hmm. you know. Well, I guess there were, but not to the extent that we've been led to believe we need. Yeah. Um, you know, and the simpler the better. I mean, we all realize that we have to get back to nature and eating that way is a part of it as well. For sure. Mm. And I mean, it's also an inexpensive way to eat too because, you know, I've done a lot of vlogging about raw food and a lot of people have said to me, I really want to try it, but it seems expensive. so expensive. Yeah. And it is when you have to buy all the nuts and, you know, all the things that go with making certain meals. And yeah. But when you, you know, look at just having one day's worth of food with bananas and mangoes or whatever, it's really not that much. It's pretty, yeah, yeah. it's quite inexpensive, especially, you know, I find when most people embark on a raw food journey, they're really eating more for preference than need. Mm -hmm. You know, I've come to really flow with the seasons and eat more for my needs. Mm -hmm. You know, see food as just a, a means to obtain the fuel to do the things I want to do, not the be all end all. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so when I'm when I'm shopping, I'm looking what is the best deal in the moment and what is the freshest and most available. Mm -hmm. So I'll just get tons of a few kinds of fruit, a little bit of greens, and. Yeah. You know, if I want some tomatoes or something, and on average, I spend between five and fifteen dollars a day total. Wow! You know, and I, cheap. I haven't mm -hmm. needed a hygiene product in years. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I don't buy anything but food because I don't need it. Wow! When I used to eat fast food all the time, and I used to drink, and I used to smoke cigarettes, mm -hmm. I was spending easily twenty dollars a day. You know, it's, yeah, that's right. I'd go to, I'd go to the bar on the weekends and spend, you know, thirty, forty bucks without thinking of it. When mm -hmm. nowadays that can be four or five days worth of food that's going to yeah. uplift and energize. That's me. it, people need to get their priorities sort of yeah. in order, don't they? Yeah. It's a little bit of a priority shift, but yeah. it's, a, it's a blessing, mm. for sure. Now, is there anything else you'd like to add? Oh my. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's tough. No, I, I, I just feel really blessed to talk with you here and share mm -hmm. what I have, Thank you. you know, and uh, you know, just saying that, you know, raw food is really, really simple. It's mm -hmm. easy. It's easier than you think, and a lot of it is in your mind, you know, opening up your perception and your uh, your desires to to your highest self to something that's going to facilitate you in any way you can to yeah. better yourself and the planet around us. I think there's no no higher purpose than to live. You know, to live by that. And um, yeah, it's been a pleasure to meet you and you too. You, know, you, you guys too. have really influenced my opinion of raw food because before I came, even though I have been writing a lot about it, mm -hmm. I was starting to think that maybe it wasn't really for me, and you know, but. Yeah, it's really influenced me in yeah, a way of so awesome. looking at a different side to it, which is the side that gets a bad rap. <laughs> yeah, <Not anymore. laughs> that's amazing that it does, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess one thing I'd like to say too is, you know, the whole concept that fruits are bad and sugar is bad. I mean, every single cell in our body thrives off sugar. Yeah. It doesn't matter yeah. what you eat, that's that's what our cells thrive off of. So, to me, it just makes more sense to cut out the middleman and make things the easiest take things in in the easiest, simulated form that you possibly can. That's right. Yeah. It's the most delicious and juiciest, too. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. And if My anyone pleasure. would like to know more about Chris, please go to theraweradvantage.com. Indeed.